Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. In case this is your first time ever coming to my channel, my name is Beverly, and I do all kinds of different videos, so I'm not even going to get into that. Um, I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to do a Get Ready With Me video, and because my time is always limited on these because of memory on my camera, um, which tax time is coming, I'll be getting some better equipment. Um, I apologize, I'm so, so sick. I've been sick for like a week now, probably longer than that, oh my gosh, I don't even know. And <clears throat> I haven't filmed much this month because my son's been sick and it was his first flu and it was, it was harsh. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows and my foundation and all that primer and stuff off camera. I'll show you what I'm gonna use for it. But I'm gonna do all of that off camera. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will be right back. And here is the items I'll be using for my foundation and all of that. So, and I'll also put stuff down in the description below for you guys of <coughs> whatever I use. Oh, excuse me. Um, so I'll be right back. Also, can I just mention I am so terribly sorry that my Boxy Charm video is up so late. I filmed at the beginning of the month. I did my unboxing and filmed it and everything at the beginning of the month and I totally forgot to upload it. For some reason I was thinking I did upload it after I edited it. <laughs> so that's going up right now as I'm filming this. So sorry again that that's so late. But hey, um, I'm going to be having a couple videos at the end of this month. I'm going to be doing this video today, the Get Ready With Me video, and then I'm going to do my monthly favorites video. So I'll be right back. Okay, hey guys, so I have my brows done and my foundation on, and now I'm just going to do my makeup like I normally would. I'm going to do something simple because I'm sick and I don't really plan on going anywhere, but I just wanted to do a video for you guys today. So, um... Let's just get started. Oh, actually, I'm going to show you everything I used in my foundation routine. Um, the first thing I used was this as a primer. It is the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm with no drying alcohol. And I just rub that all over my face until it's tacky. And then I apply. And I also put this on, which is my, I have no idea if I'm saying this right, Pure Lisse, Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Eye Adore Serum for all skin types, under my eyes and on my eyelids, which, because I get really puffy eyes in general, and then I use my Thank Me Later by Elizabeth Mott Eyeshadow Primer, and my for foundation, I use my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation in Creamy Natural. And my concealer, I use NYX Gotcha Covered in Concealer in Ivory. Oh my gosh, I'm making this. And for my eyebrows, I, this is going to sound really strange, but I use the Mr. Right Now Eyeliner Pencil in Scott, I believe is the name of it. In Scott, and it's like a purpley, dark purple color, and my, it's because my hair is like a dark reddish purple color, and it's like the only thing that matches my hair. I can't find an eyebrow pencil that matches my hair that I'm not going to, you know, spend a bunch of money on. Because, you know, I'm a single, I'm a mama. Um, and then I use for brow powder, I use the Peak Beauty Natural Stain Brow Powder in Espresso, and I believe I got this in one of my subscription boxes. That's upside down, I'm sorry. And it just slides open, and this is what the color looks like. And then my e.l.f. Um, professional Brow Comb and Brush to just comb it all out and make it blend and look nice, and I'm not even looking at the camera, sorry. Okay. So, let's just get started. I'm going to use my brain fart to not do anything productive. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Revealed Smoky Palette, and I got this in my, um, <coughs> excuse me, in my, um, Boxy Charm this month, and I've been using the crap out of it because I just love the colors in it. I'm going to do, like, a light, smoked-out eye, sort of, and just keep it simple, so... I'm going to use, if I can find the brush I want to use, I'm going to use the R Evolution BX80 brush, and I'm just going to pick up, mm, I'm going to pick up this taupe color right here, 
and apply that all over my lid. And I find that this color just kind of, oh my gosh, I'm doing this in like the viewfinder, I'm sorry. Oh no, I need a mirror. <laughs> I find that this shadow just kind of helps me like even everything out and make sure that my shadows blend nicely. I'm just kind of patting that on. You know what, I'm probably just going to do one eye because, uh, time. And then I'm going to use the Royal and Lane Nickel R Evolution BX90 brush to apply this purple color at the very end to my crease. And these brushes are super, like, stiff. So blending wise, they're not the greatest for blending in my opinion. I'm gonna lightly apply this to my crease. And then I'm going to use a fluffy brush from my Coastal Scents makeup set, brush set, and I don't think these have names. Yeah, they don't have names or numbers or anything on them, but this is what it looks like. It's just like a small fluffy eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to blend that out, that purple color I just applied. And then I'm going to take this brush from the same <coughs> brush collection, sorry, Coastal Sense, and it does not have a name. I'm going to take the black color in that palette, and I'm going to add that to my outer corner. And I'm going to bring that down right on my lash line at the very outer corner. Just like that, and then I'm going to take that same blending brush and blend that out. And that's what that looks like. And then I'm going to take that same, that first black brush that I used, if I can freaking find it, the BX80 brush by Rowan Lingnickel, and I'm going to use this taupey kind of gold brown, pinky gold brown shade that I have no idea where it just went because I'm. It's more like a gold brown. And I'm going to apply that where I first applied that taupe shade to just brighten up the eye a little bit. And these, I'm not going to lie, these eyeshadows have pretty bad fallout. And I forgot to tap my brush off, so, you know. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and fluff that out from under my eye. If I can get the freaking brush. That's what that looks like. And then I'm going to take my angled fluffy-ish brush. From that same palette again and I'm going to use my highlighter actually and sweep that over the brow bone area and the highlighter I'm using is the Mary Luminizer highlighter by the bomb and I'm just gonna sweep that over my brow just like that and then then I'm going to take this Fantasy Makers by Wet n Wild Enchanting Body Crown in white. I'm sure that's what it is. And I'm going to apply that to my inner corner. And then I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to blend that out. And 
And I'm going to take. Um, I can find the brush I want. Which doesn't look like I have it in here, so. Oh, goodness, I'm a mess. I guess I'll just use a concealer brush and use my highlighter once again. That same highlighter in the inner corner. And then I'm going to, ah, oh, my foot is asleep. And I'm just going to take in this brush. <laughs> I, mm, they don't have any names, so. <coughs> oh my goodness, guys. And then I'm going to take that same purple color that you, cur purple color I used in the crease and sweep that under my, um, tap it off. And use that just along my lash lower lash line just to kind of darken the look up a little bit and i'm not going to go all the way to my corner with this color because i want my eyes to remain kind of open and doughy eyed i'm just going to like brush that brush off and i'm going to take this pink color right here along the edge and i'm going to load my brush up with that tap it off and i'm going to apply that blend that in with that purple color I just used on my lower lash line to my inner corner. And that's what that looks like. And then for my liquid liner, I'm actually going to use, I don't know yet because, you know, I kind of want an intense liner this time. I'm going to use the Eco London Fat Liquid Liner. And that's what the eyes will look like. And let me just do my foundation and just leave that eye alone. And I'll do that off camera. Actually, I'm going to go do that off camera right now. Okay, guys. So I'm back and I finished my other eye. And I also applied my mascara and curled my lashes. I just used my, I believe this is the e.l.f. lash curler. But it doesn't say anything on it. I don't know. It might be. might not be. I don't know. Don't quote me. And then for mascara, I used the Maybelline New York Last Sensational Mascara in... Oh my god, I can't see that. It's so dark. Probably black as black. I have no idea. It's so tiny, like, I can't read it. <laughs> and that's what that looks like. And the brush looks like this. And this, I tend to go back to this mascara all the time. I don't know. I just really like it. It's... My, mas my, my eyelashes are super, like, finicky and, like, hard to work with. For some reason, they just won't curl. So that mascara has, like, a super stiff brush, and it works pretty well for me. So now I'm just going to go in with my face routine, my uh, bronzer and all of that. And I'm going to use the NYX Matte Bronzer to contour my face and bronze up my forehead and all of that. And I'm going to use another brush from that Coastal Sense collection that doesn't have a name. And it's kind of like a fluffy angled brush. And it works really good for bronzer in my opinion. And I'm just going to get my hair out of the way. I feel like there's really no like wrong or right way to do bronzer. Everybody's face is shaped differently and everything works differently for certain people. So 
just whatever looks nice to your specific facial type or facial shape i guess you could say and i'm gonna bronze up around my forehead around the edges and blend that out and then i'm gonna go along my jawline and under my chin just kind of bronze up that double chin a little bit And I feel like I can never get both of my cheeks looking exactly the same and it drives me absolutely bonkers crazy. I don't know, is that just me? Does everybody have that problem and I'm just, you know, thinking it's just me? I look hella pale. I'm gonna bronze the sides of my nose just slightly. And normally I'd go in with a smaller brush to do this, but I'm lazy, so, you know. So there's my browns. And then for, I like to do my highlight before I do my blush just to kind of blend it in. And I'm going to use the Jelly Pom Pom Cosmetics All Over Glow Luminizing Gel as a base for my highlighter. And this, I love this as a base, honestly. And I'm just going to sweep that right along my cheeks lightly and blend it out. I love this stuff. It smells so good. It smells like... Like brown sugar or something. I don't know. Like something really delicious. And then I'm going to take that with my finger along my eyebrow and put a little bit on the back of my hand because I didn't get enough. Bring it along the top of my brow bone and down the bridge of my nose. And above my lip. My cupid's bow. And right under my nose and on my chin and you know just everywhere. So I'm kind of a highlighter. Hey guys, so my camera stopped recording for some reason and I think it's because it's getting full and I'm just gonna finish highlighting. I just put on my um jelly pong pong liquid highlighter and now I'm gonna use the Mary Luminizer to highlight pretty much everywhere. Pretty much everywhere. Down my nose, on my chin. And that's my highlighter. And then I'm going to take, and that's like a medium fluffy brush from um, that same palette that, or that same brush set that just doesn't have a freaking name on it. It's the Coastal Sense brush set. Um, and then I'm going to use the Studio Makeup Soft Blend Brush in Wildflower. And apply that. Ay, ay, ay. I'm a mess. Ugh. To my cheekbones. And that's what that looks like. And then for my lips, I'm going to do this off camera, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Gel Lip Liner in. Okay, so I have no idea how much my camera actually caught of what I was just saying, but for my lips, I used the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Gel Lip Liner in number three cinnamon. And it's like this pinkish nude color, almost purpley. And then on top of that, I used the Mana Kadar Beauty Simplified in Lucky. And I believe these are the liquid lipstick stains or whatever, which really, honestly, they're not stains in my opinion, but whatever. And that's everything I used. Um, I believe I showed everything. But if you guys like this kind of video, let me know. And maybe I'll do some more get ready with me videos or some more makeup videos. Like while I'm actually doing my makeup on camera. We will see. And thanks for watching.